<laughs> What's good, Brooklyn Royals audience? It's Osiris and Isis. Isis. And today... <laughs> Aloha! Yeah, we just, we just came back from Hawaii like a week ago. So, you know, we're still kind of like on the Hawaiian vibe. Mm. Um, so... Uh, today we're going to have a discussion about marriage and before we get into it, please hit that like button, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all of our content. Our content is very warm and loving. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you should check it out. So... Um, we noticed that we've been putting up a bunch of videos. We just record ourselves and then we edit it and give it to y'all. And we haven't been really discussing family. We've just been showing you what we do normally. And our show is specifically about unifying family. Um, over here in the West, in the United States, specifically, um, family is not valued. It has like zero value in the United States. But when you go to other places, it has a good 50% to 100% value in other places. Um, in Asia, family is valued. India, Africa, um, even Europe has uh, family values. Whereas in the United States, the only thing that they promote is money. So, um, and it's nothing wrong with money. I love money. Cha cha ching. And money loves me. <laughs> I love the dough more than you know. <laughs> but um, we want to discuss family. You know what I'm saying? And uh, why there's so many failed families and broken families, and it's really um, concerning and disturbing to be quite honest with you. So um, a lot of people uh, ask us how long we've been together and then they start asking questions like, you know, how do we, like, are we happy? And, you know, how are we done this? So let me uh, answer something. Uh, we've been together for 22 years now. Yeah, yeah, I know. When, when we tell that to people, first they, like, they first look at us like, huh? 22 years. And they look at us like, wait a minute. What is your age? <laughs> right? Because <laughs> they don't even know. It. A lot of people think that we are uh, way younger than we actually are. Um, but we have experience. And so we want to share the experience that we have with y'all. Now, uh, I can tell you that our relationship wasn't always the way that you see it right now, where you see uh, us having so much fun and smiling all the time. Um, there were times and for uh, a good amount of time that we fought a lot, actually. So let's get into why that happened, actually. Um, he was so mean. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... First thing is, is that my wife used to be a modern woman. Modern women. Modern women are the very uh, people who have killed marriages. Modern women. Now, let me explain. A modern woman believes that a woman is always right. And that a man is always wrong. A modern woman believes that a man is supposed to be a traditional man, while she is not a traditional woman. <laughs> uh, and so it, it's it causes conflict. It, it's actually brought men and women to the brink of not even being able to interact or you know, be each other's company and stuff like that. And that's very sad. Isis is my best friend. That's my best so, friend. you know, it's very sad that other people do not have that in their relationship. <laughs> now, uh, 
Here's the thing. Modern women are 304 girls. They're thoughts, they're sluts, they're hoes. They're, that's basically what they are. Um, yeah, I mean, let's get into it like this. Uh, <laughs> Most of the women have think that it is okay for them to act masculine. Now, I'm a man. And if I wanted masculinity, I would be gay. I'm not gay. I want the opposite sex, which means I want a woman to be feminine, not masculine. And women have become masculine. And since most women who have children are baby mothers. They have taught their sons to be feminine and they act masculine. So uh, it's been causing a whole bunch of family problems with those things, okay? So um, number one, uh, let's talk about our history. So my wife used to be a modern woman. She's no longer a modern woman. She's more of a traditional woman now. Uh, can, I, can I interject real quick? Go ahead. Okay. Yes. And my husband's saying I used to be a modern woman. And he's 100% correct. Okay. I decided to jump in so that you guys don't think that like he's creating this. Because <laughs> you know how people are. But anyways. Um, yes, I was a modern woman. I accepted um, what I saw in society. What I picked up from the television. What I picked up from my home life what i pretty much interactions with people and then i accepted it and i brought that into our relationship meanwhile the let's go prior when we first met we had a really nice relationship beautiful peaceful and because i accepted the way society was and how they said that women should be i started to act that way in my relationship and i was killing my relationship You want me to jump in? Well, <laughs> let's go over the checklist of modern women, okay? Uh, modern society will tell a woman that she matures faster than the man. Modern women believe that men are all babies. Uh, a modern woman also believes that a key to a happy marriage is keeping solely her happy and not, and it has nothing to do with keeping the man happy, just her. Um, these are three heavy things that really destroy relationships, okay? Um, number one, if you're a guy and all you do is cater to your woman, you are setting yourself up for failure. That woman will make you do handstands and all types of things in the name of keeping her happy. She'll drive you crazy. She'll drive you crazy. You know, um, and this whole masculine thing where women think it's okay to act aggressive with men, get loud with them, be in their face, put their hands all in your face, do things like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell a man to suck her D-I-C-K when she doesn't even have one. Um, it's just really disturbing. Um, and I got to tell you... Um, there's two sides of this coin, right? Because modern men are not really men. They act like females. They're emotional, um, you know, and they have a mommy complex because they didn't have a father in their life. They believe that women are gods and they put women on a pedestal. They think women can't do any wrong. You know, did you have these Captain save -a guys who uh, see a woman uh, in a certain situation and feel like he needs to go and save her from her man, <laughs> not really understand, without understanding the actual situation and why whatever is happening is happening. So, all right, I'm an alpha male, period. You know, I've had, I, I had my mother and father in my life the whole time. Uh, they weren't together. They were separated because my mother was a modern woman. And she was a thought. <laughs> she is a thought, actually. 
and you know so she drove him away and but he still was a father period he still took care of us uh and did all of the basic things that a father should do and stuff like that while my mother uh wasted a lot of her time chasing after other men and didn't bring in other men into our home that didn't really work out too well but anyway uh so uh as for men right because i don't want to just focus on women it's also men that are messing things up because a, a woman will only do to you what you allow her to do to you um we're in the um not completely in the beginning of our relationship but some years into, into the relationship um isis started really acting crazy. belligerently crazy and insane and if i was a modern man i would sit i would be i would have took all of that crap from her but i'm not a modern man you know what i'm saying uh i gotta tell you ladies like if it, it's a bad idea for you to get masculine with me okay <laughs> Because, be quite honest with you, I was taught by both parents that if a woman is man enough to jump up in your face, then she's also man enough to get a man-sized ass whooping. Okay? <laughs> and that's the truth about it. So, if you saw it, as for other men, I don't understand. Why, well, I understand, but don't really go along with why men allow women to do that to them. You know? You can't say that you're an alpha male if you let women punk you. You can't um, be around men and act tough, but then when you get home, your wife is punking you or your girl is punking you. That means you're not tough. <laughs> it means you're pretending when you're around men and you're not really tough in the first place. And as for women, you know, uh, the modern woman uh, who has taught her son to be so feminine and sensitive and borderline gay or gay. Um, yeah, you're really doing a disservice to him. You, you're not uh, doing him anything good. And for all you ladies who think that you play both roles because you're a single parent, you don't. You don't. Mm -mm. You don't. There's just no way. There's no way you can do that. There is no way that you can teach a boy to be a man because you are emotional and feminine and you don't know how to be masculine and logical. And so you will not be able to teach that boy how to be a man. On the flip side of that, a man can teach his daughter to be a woman. He just won't be able to teach her to be a girly girl because he's not a girly girl. He's a man. He can teach you to be a woman but she won't be one of those type of women that are so Dog much up. into her nails <laughs> and her eyelashes and all that other stuff because he won't be showing her that because he's not a, a female. But he can teach you to be a woman. But a woman cannot teach a boy to be a man. She, the only thing that she can do is teach what she knows. And a woman is emotional and they're overly emotional and you would teach your son to be overly emotional. And then when he gets around other when he gets around an actual man or uh alpha boy or something like that he's gonna feel um like the black sheep because you know the other males who actually are men and and real boys will look at him like yo why are you so feminine and they will treat him in a certain way so um it's not good to do that <laughs>